hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion related to uh, biomedical instrumentation and uh, so far we were discussing about uh, pressure transducers used in uh, physiological monitoring to measure uh, various uh, measurements body parameter measurements related to pressure so far we have discussed uh, pressure transducers using resistance based displacement transducers potentiometer strain gauge and uh, in this video we are going to discuss about the capacitance based uh, pressure transducers so we all know that uh, the pressure measurement uh, it involves the basic principle of using a displacement transducer to measure the pressure and to give an output in terms of voltage and current so the main component uh, or the primary sensing element in this case is the diaphragm which is connected to the source of pressure the body part one end is connected to that and the other end is connected to the displacement transducer now this displacement transducer can be of any type we have discussed the resistance based that is potentiometer and strain gauge there are other techniques also in this video we are going to discuss about the capacitive type which will make use of a capacitance based displacement transducer okay so it will act as a secondary sensing element okay so there can be inductance based uh, pressure sensors strain gauge we have discussed lvdt type differential transformer type linear and angular encoders both optical and magnetic techniques based piezoelectric type and potentiometer potentiometer and strain gauge we have discussed okay so the main principle which uh, it involves is that the diaphragm when it is connected to the point where so uh, pressure is to be measured because of the change in the pressure at that specific body part the fluctuations the diaphragm is caused to it it, it, it is forced to expand or compress as a result of which the other end which is connected to the displacement transducer causes movement in the sensing element of the displacement transducer and that gives us the electrical output with the help of proper signal conditioning so we know that capacitive transducers they are mainly used as primary sensing elements the main sensing elements but in this case it is acting as a secondary element but the principle of operation of capacitive transducers is based on parallel plate capacitor okay so here the capacitance is given by the formula c is equal to epsilon a by d or epsilon 0 epsilon r a by d where epsilon subscript o is the absolute permittivity epsilon subscript r is the relative permittivity of the medium a is the overlapping area between the plates and d is the distance between the plates okay so suppose we have two plates which are separated by a certain distance so three things contribute to the capacitance first the distance between the plates second the overlapping area how much portion of the two plates are over each other okay okay which overlap each other that is important thing next is the dielectric constant the permittivity so in this case permittivity has no role to play only the things which contribute to change in capacitance are distance and overlapping area so here what happens is that for uh, measurement of pressure what happens or in or the same principle is used for measurement of displacement also is that one of the plates of the parallel plate capacitor arrangement is kept fixed and the other one is movable and that is connected to the point of displacement or the source of displacement and in this case it is connected to the diaphragm source of pressure 
so it can connect it can be connected in that way or it can be connected laterally so that there is lateral movement which will contribute to a change in the overlapping area okay so in that case what happens is that when there is a change in the distance as capacitance is inversely proportional to distance between plates as distance increases capacitance decreases and as distance decreases capacitance increases okay inverse relationship and this is the sensitivity and other case when there is lateral movement okay lateral movement or sidewise movement then there will be a change in the overlapping area in that case it is directly proportional to overlapping area between plates capacitance so as area increases capacitance increases when area decreases capacitance decreases so this is the relationship so here the width the dimensions of the plate also are very important okay so the the area of the overlap region that also is very important okay so the basic principle involved here is that the diaphragm uh, the one end is connected to the point where pressure is to be measured the other end is connected to the movable plate so there can be either lateral movement or sidewise movement like this there is a change in distance or change in overlapping area so both of them will contribute to a change in the capacitance ne uh, the next thing which uh, we have to do is to convert the change in capacitance into suitable voltage or current signal for that many signal conditioning techniques can be used ac bridges can be used operational amplifier based or transistor based uh, circuits can be used where ca the capacitor uh, is uh, acting as one of the circuit elements or parameters which is contributing directly to the change in voltage or current so the change in voltage or current can be uh, can be directly related with change in capacitance so various signal conditioning techniques are present ac bridges operational amplifiers transistor amplifiers different things can be used so we have to convert it into suitable voltage or current signal and then we get a uh, direct readout after proper analog to digital conversion using sampling quantization and encoding so there are many advantages of uh, capacitance based transducers they are extremely sensitive they can detect the slightest of fluctuations in pressure or displacement loading effects are minimum they have high resolution they are less affected by stray electromagnetic fields they have good frequency response and they require a very small power to operate well there are certain disadvantages also because uh, it involves dielectric constant the permittivity of the medium is very important so the surrounding conditions environmental conditions they may get uh, they may change the dielectric constants the perm permittivity which will produce an unnecessary error capacitance based sensors are also temperature sensitive and signal conditioning can be a little bit complex designing of uh, ac bridges or amplifier based signal conditioning techniques they can be a little bit complicated but uh, it is uh, one of the used most uh, used ways of converting uh the signal conditioning for converting any pressure based fluctuations into displacement and then into electrical signal okay so this is the capacitance transducer for pressure measurement same principle displacement transducer connected to diaphragm diaphragm detects fluctuations in pressure undergoes compression expansion causes the movable plate to move which contributes to change in overlapping area or change in distance that causes a change in capacitance capacitance is converted to a uh, voltage and current by signal conditioning and we get a display okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day
थैंक यू वेरी मच